Welcome back to the finals of GPSN. We have Purple Saki running Cosmic Thunder Princess, and we have Augur running Blue Red Prowess. So we're going to have a fast deck versus, uh, well, it's not exactly a slow deck, but it is sort of slow. Slightly slower, yeah. Yeah. So this will be an aggro versus control matchup, basically. Yeah. You've got uh, Augur opting to mulligan here. So this is probably a really dangerous keep because if their one creature gets killed, then they're kind of screwed. But if it doesn't yeah. get killed, then they have Crossing the Fogs to dig for more stuff. Yeah, for sure. Oh, no, Augur's going to send oh, it back. Yeah, and that's deeper. actually a pr pretty good idea because turns out Purple Saki does have the turn one Cosmic. Yeah, they do have turn one Cosmic Synchro off Nebula. Yeah. But the problem mm -hmm. with Augur's hand is that it's still not that good because it only has one creature, so... If they're if they run their one drop into cosmic synchro, then they need to draw out of it. They'll be a little bit in trouble otherwise. So oh. uh, we've got the Wayfarer Shrine cracking for a red source, obviously. Wait, is Augur on? Does Augur have higher seeds? Yes, Augur has the higher seed. They're oh. they're on the play. Yeah. Okay, wait. Did both players go ten zero in the tournament or something? They're both six zero. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing uh, it resolved based on uh, uh, other factors. I could pull it up real quick. It looks like. Augur is ahead simply because of opponent match OMP. So a little bit ahead. But yes, both of our players are 6-0. Okay, so that suddenly turns my entire analysis on the head because Urbsaki can't go turn one Cosmic Scene Code and Rapid Countess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that couldn't have happened. But purple has got such a big grip compared to what Augur has right now. So. Well, yeah, but maybe Augur can just rush Urbsaki down. Yeah. Although well, People of Lightning doesn't really get there. Augur can't actually use the island for anything this turn, which is really unfortunate. This is very different from some of the turns Augur has had previously in the GP with, like, triple strong arm, you know? So, uh, hopefully it works out, but still, you know. So, swing for got, two yeah. on turn two. That's a bit disappointing from Augur, probably. It's probably a little slower than she wants to be here, but... Making that play does inadvertently play around Cosmic Synchro, because mm -hmm. Augur literally can't use all their mana this turn, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I'd, I'd say Augur's playing around it, but Augur just simply doesn't have the red sources to do that anyway. So it just, it's lining up nicely. Actually, Purposaki can't Cosmic Synchro for two because they have a colorless land and yeah. Mm -hmm. So Augur can Cosmic or Consult here. Yeah, pretty safe Consult. And if they draw into land, they can start Scorching Face. Yeah, that's not a bad draw here. Well, Purposaki draws a land. Let's see what Augur pulls here. Is Purposaki thinking about using Tenure's Existence here to blank some damage? I don't think that's worth it, so yeah, Purposaki just lets Consult resolve. And Augur draws their third land. It has a hand of three Scorches, so... Third Scorch, yeah, it's not bad. Well, time to start pointing the Scorches at face. Yep. And right, there's a second one's... Scorch. Now Purposaki has to think about whether they want the Cosmic Synchro or Ready for Anything this turn, because they can't do both. Or maybe Tenure's Existence is better because it blanks more damage, but it doesn't yeah. permanently deal with anything. Let's see how is it going to be. It'll be a lot of damage otherwise. Well, actually, Tenuous and Cosmic Synchro basically blank the same amount of damage because yeah. they all blank three. So maybe it's just, just better to use Tenuous here because Using it spends your, your mana better and you can Tenuous uh, again anyways. Yep, that's for sure. The problem is that a Cosmic Synchro is rapidly becoming more useless. Cosmic Synchro here is the right choice. If your Tenuous will be good as of next turn, regardless. Oh, because never mind. Uh, Augur uh, yeah, hasn't buffed their creatures oh, yet, so Tenuous oh, actually prevents more damage. Oh boy. Yeah, you just can't use the Tenuous on the last Scorch in hand, so a bit of thinking is going to go on here. And... I mean, Primsaki is going to Tenuous to one of their creatures, right? Otherwise, there's no point. Like, they can't try to ready for anything, but like, you're untapping with ready for anything. So what? You're up to four mana and two life. Can you even do anything at that point? That was a really good turn for Augur so far, so... Yeah. I think a it's a lot of damage that suddenly came out of nowhere. I mean, that's basically the whole point of Augur's deck, just to pump out a bunch of damage out of absolute nowhere. Like, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. If we looked at that, their opening yeah, hand, that, that that consult here was really big. So. Yeah. Well, there's a tenuous yeah. on the rapid countess. Kind of feels bad to be throwing out a tenuous and you're still getting clocked for four damage. It blank four damage. That's like basically two mana game for life. That's like half a stand unassailable. The most expensive fog I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, but Thoth is back, so it's it's the most expensive moments piece that you've ever seen. I'm sure Hersey would have words with you about if fogs are bad, but yeah. yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen Hersey sleeve up a fog deck in a while, but uh, who knows? Maybe one day we'll get to see that again. All right, let's look at Purple's hand here. We've got 
a big grip of stuff, but when you're at writing on Six Life, things things look a little scary. Of it, course, you know, there's always Thunder Road, but actually I think Perpsock probably can stabilize. Yeah. They're just gonna use Thunder Roads as a lightning helix, and that's probably the right decision here. Yeah. Kills Enraptured Countess, which prevents the flashback. So that actually just takes like six damage off the table right Absolutely. there. That's a bit of a slower draw here for, for Augur. Oh, Not going to be able to use Flame Waker's activated ability with the mana that she currently has. So, Would you just Scorch here? I mean, I guess play Flame Waker, play Scorch, swing, I, hope for the best. Mm, I think that's what I would do. I would try and push for the... But you you know that Purple's got a Mabel in hand, right? So you know that yeah. Purple's riding on potentially 10 life, so maybe you hold back to try and maximize the damage. Yeah, because now next turn you can activate Flame Waker and then Scorch. Well, you'll also get the extra point off the prowess on Flame Waker. So that's, yeah. That's just in inching out those last few bits of damage. Um, we've got purple here going up to four. Is there anything no, to flash no back? No Chain targets, unless that Ready for Anything comes out soon. I mean, um, to be fair, Ready for Anything into Cain Dance or Ready for Anything is a decent play on four if Purposaki mm -hmm. isn't in too much trouble. That Cain Dancer being able to block one of those hits is, is definitely something as well. Otherwise, they can just, I guess, Maple and then hold up Cosmic for one, which actually will counter Scorch if Augur taps out for it. Like, if yeah, they so activate got, ability first. Yeah, we've got the four here. Uh... Everything's got flash, so it gives a lot of options. Ooh, consult. And, uh... And Argus is definitely casting this first, right? Unless they want to just save consult for next turn and just try to push as much damage as possible with Flame Waker. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're just going for it. Well, uh, Argus is going to play Scorch. Uh, they can activate Vergansa's ability. Or actually, no, if, if Perf Saki lets it resolve, I think they don't actually have time to activate it because they already passed priority. That is correct. So this doesn't actually play around Cosmic Synchro or anything. So maybe Argo is just thinking about using Consult and trying to bait out Purposaki's counter spells first with a Scorch. Uh, Purposaki oh, takes. Yeah. All right. Rose trigger here. Things are getting a bit bigger. We're we're definitely going to have to see a uh, Cosmic Synchro if Augur shoots out that. Yeah. That's... Oh, there's Consult. Right. Well, the problem here is that Purposaki can't Cosmic Synchro. Or no, okay. can they? Okay. Yeah, they have enough. Color mana. They can Cosmic Synchro and then flashback to its existence to flank some yeah, more damage. They've got the four mana. It'll, it'll only cost purple two mana to use that Cosmic Single here. Yeah. And the. Um, yeah, so there it is. So Augur's out of fuel for a bit, but still got the bodies. The cast trigger still yeah, happens. They have some and very then, good top decks lined up. Yeah, we're at the point where purple's, purple's got to find a way to clear out that board now that Augur's out of fuel, because otherwise. Uh, so, well, so there's you know, 10 existence from the graveyard yeah, yeah. to blank some more damage. Well, I mean, Purple Murasaki has plenty of time, right? Because once they're at 5 mana, they can Mabel and then also ready for anything. Mm -hmm. And Mabel basically just buys them like you an extra turn. Purple, right? Mabel, ready for anything, you go up to 4. All it takes is Augur drawing a 3 damage burn spell, which are all cost 1 mana, right? And then, yeah. uh, and then Verganisat's Flame Waker can just pay that 2 to get that, that 4th point, right? Don't even have to attack. So it's going to be actually pretty pretty tight. And if Purple has to... I mean, oh, yeah, dear. Purple can hold Mabel until... A uh, lot of ready for anything, but not the removal. Well, worst comes to worst, they can... Would have been great actually, here, but... Right, Flame Waker does... Well, the funny thing is, uh, when me and Purple Saki were accommodating another game from Augur, we completely forgot about Flame Waker's ability. And that's what gave Augur lethal that game. So maybe something yeah. similar would happen here really minor you know as somebody who as the person who, who designed the card but the fact that it pumps itself and an instant is like two extra points for two mana so it's it's really not that bad yeah okay so digging for stuff to a land is not what Promosaki wants this is not at all what purple wants but hasn't played a land for the turn correct yeah so can still get to that two mana it would feel absolutely horrible to throw out a cane dancer just to block but Actually, I think it's probably just completely fine throwing out a cane dancer because oh, so next you'll turn have to do it. you'll have to do it. But oof, consult. Yeah, that's so, that might just well, do it. Well, or maybe Perfsaki draws something. If it's a land <laughs> command and a burn spell. Oh, there's commanding princess. Well, so if yeah, he's... if Augur doesn't win this turn, I think oh. Perfsaki has a good chance of coming back into the game. Perfsaki's gonna take it back. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a helix and a first strike, and that's gonna be really gross. Well, let's see what we have here. Remember, all it takes is a land and a burn spell, and that's not it. That's two Masters of Tranquility. Oof. I mean, you still... Oof. 
that was not the draws that that Augur wanted to see there. Yeah, so close yet so far. Always those last little bits that you, that you need to get. Well, right, I mean, Augur is going to swing out this turn, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you swing out the pupil of lightning? Yeah, I think you do just to get Mabel off the table. I think. I mean, I'd be happy, I think, to block that Mabel in soaking up another two points. I mean, you have to, right? Because you know next turn you've got your commanding princess coming down. Oh, well, right, so to King King as, yeah. Okay, okay. Purple, purple probably wants to be on a few more, a little bit more health. Well, no, All they're right. playing around Argo holding a Vault in hand, because if they let yeah. two damage through, then Argo suddenly okay, just has right, lethal with Vault. All right, so there we go. That's what I figured. We're going to see that trade. The block. Yep. Okay, we're gonna see the master of tranquility come down. I mean, to be fair, master is kind of annoying for Permsaki because mm -hmm. they can't kill with commanding princess until it flips. Commanding princess is flash, right? Yeah. So you just you can and there's gonna be some instances where it's gonna be weird, but you really just have to wait until the spell is cast. But yes, it might it might cause a bit of more more lands. There we go, more lands for purple. Doesn't matter. They have uh, commanding princess. There we go. Yeah, yeah. and. What I really like here is that even though it's not going to get much value, Commanding Princess can also still bring back Cane Dancer if it needs to. Oh yeah, that's um, a, that's an interaction that is pretty core to Commanding Princess, but hasn't actually come up in any of the games that I've seen so far. I think I saw it once where it went like Commanding Princess, Cane Dancer, ready for anything or something. It, it feels really great when you can chain them up. Um, well, I think that's probably going to happen this time because they're going to ready for anything right now to dig into it yeah that's what i figured if they dig into thunder roads then the game's just straight up dunzo for augur oh my goodness yes if we see a uh, see thunder road it's gonna be pretty even. <laughs> well i'm sorry augur but you've there it is. you've had a good run <laughs> that was blue black now we've got the green the red and the white we're fine always always worth making sure those five colors are are cleanly represented there's I think he's, he just pointed at Augur's creatures, right? Yes. If you can run them down till they have nothing, and you just straight up gain 9 life, I think Augur's chances of, of winning this are really low now. Yeah. In fact, I can't even think of a sequence of draws that would get Augur there. Maybe if Perpsaki top deck only lands, and like, Augur top deck a bunch of... But yeah, Commanding Princess being, being here is going to, you know, do some really gross things. Yeah. Bounty of the Gardens. Well, oh, that's not looking any better for Augur. Yeah, that's even worse. We're gonna. That means we can see a bounty into a commanding princess cane dancer bounty. This is it. This is the big flip. Well, I mean, on the bright side, at least the game won't drag out for too long. Augur will probably just lose in short order yeah. instead of instead of dying a slow death. There's I one two one two three four. There's even mana to sequence or ready for anything into that. That's so. I mean, uh, Perm's actually just gonna give Augur the scry. I think. Maybe Aga scries into, well, uh, actually, I don't even know what they can scry into. You can always get more Thunder Roads. <laughs> well, I mean, no, what, what, what can you Aga scry into here? Point. Your, 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 um, your Bounty of the Gardens are going to clock Augur to death. So. Yeah. At, I think anything you, you, you go for at this point is just overkill. Oh, good. So, we've got the attack. Okay, the scry goes through. Not that it really matters. It's, it's false hope. <laughs> Augur puts a Night Academic on the bottom. Yep. All right, so here we are. One, two, three, four. And there's commanding okay. princess. Interesting. So cast, and then... Well, I mean, they can always, always bounty in response to the commanding yeah. princess. Yeah. Okay, but is Protonaki going to bounty now in response? Because, like, right, they're going to miss their timing if they wait too long. Yeah, you want it, that bounty in the graveyard before that can't answer comes back. Uh... Unless Protonaki is just fine with... Uh oh actually. Locking back ready for anything? <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. Oh, the whole yeah. It might have. There we go. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven for two. Yep, a fair and balanced Tar card. Tarmogoy feature hard up. You know what made Tarmogoy better if it had flash? Well, and could be flashed back by Snapcaster Mage for free. It's one of those cards that just lines up so perfectly. There's something. There's something magical about blue instants at mana value two in this format that are just mwah, chef's kiss. You know. Yeah. All right. So there's a strong arm coming in. I mean, at least Master will, like, trade with one of the plant tokens. Yeah. Well, oh, actually, no, it's not even going to be. It's it's going to trade with Commanding Princess, I think. Yeah, we're still not at blocks. Princess is just doing the uh, the mini helix and reanimate. Almost feels like that two damage should have gone to Master of Tranquility. I don't know. I mean, what yeah, is, that would prevent it from flipping. But if Augur didn't have a spell in hand, then really wasn't a point in doing... Actually, no, there is because you can whack it and then block it, so... So there we go. Somehow, Commanding Princess is getting out of this combat step unscathed. 
Oh, Purposaki decides to sack off the Cane Dancer so that they can get back with another commanding princess. Lovely. Attacking it's before nice. playing ready for anything. Shouldn't you dig first? I guess they're digging at instant speed. Yeah, I think I think they're yeah. I think there's the GG. Well, Augur got really close, but Purposaki managed to stabilize in the end they're with a Thunder close. Roads. Barely hanging on for several turns. But oh. yes, sideboarding. So Purposaki has a pretty toolboxy sideboard because of cosmic coalescing. Absolutely. But they're probably going to bring in Shell Drain's Rage. Yeah, it, it, it's still good, even if uh, even with the Proest creatures, because the three toughness is about usually where they cap up. Apart from, like, as we said, the god hands with, like, three three strong arms, Rage will usually clean everything up, and having four of them, you know, it's, it's really nice. Um, or you can just Rage on your turn. Yeah. What else we got? El Body, which, yeah, probably bring that in, too. And looking over on Augur's side, what do we got? We have... Literally just Imposition. Is it really? Imposition. So that's, it's really funny because that's a card I designed that I didn't think anybody would ever be playing, but, um... Well, we still don't know if it's good or not, because, like, I, so far... I uh, think the consensus in the past five years of its existence have been, it's not great, but I guess sometimes you really have to hit a thing. I just feel sometimes you hit the thing and then the player just gets what they need right back, yeah. you know, so... Let's... We'll we'll have to see. Um, but we're uh, we see what we were talking about. Purple's got two two rages in hand. Are they, is he gonna keep that? That would be hilarious. Well, they can Mabel but away one to land. So well, I mean, you get the Mabel right, and you've got you can throw back one of those lands. You'll have the four, you know, but it doesn't do much on turn one and two. I you don't have know. to drain rages so that you're pretty think, safe for a bit. Think, well. Let's see. Augur's got the one one from Pupil of Lightning and the one two with Night Academic. So just a just a two drop rage doesn't clear up the board quite well. And even Flame Waker is a one two, um, right. making them particularly resistant to just the two. So you really got to wait till you get that fourth mana to to really sweep. So I don't know. This is a pretty risky hand. Purple is up one game though. So yeah. I I found myself making making poor mistakes in the past when I'm up one game thinking, oh, I can run this. When sometimes you gotta, I don't know. I feel the fact that now that you mulligan and you always get a hand of seven, I yeah, okay. I feel it's usually like look at this hand. Delicious. Uh, out of body, cane dancer, fracture, a road, a princess. It's unfortunately just a little short on land. You can survive on two land with on this you hand. On. Do you bring Mabel in? And if you do, what do you replace? You place princess because you want to stay alive until you can thunder roads. Or I guess you place thunder roads because you want to stay alive until you can princess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, oh yeah, Mabel. right. Because they mulliganed. Yeah, they have to mulligan away the princess. So this is what I meant. Like it's hard to out of body, and then a fracture is going to have to hold down the the first two turns. I mean, that's fine. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Giving giving your opponent a one one flyer is not great, but in this kind of deck where the opponent's one ones very quickly become threes and fours, it's a it's a much slower clock. So I think perhaps I might have to nebula for three here. Well, no, they're going to nebula for actually. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Grove can become any. Can be like green red so you've got oh you got green in the forest yeah so i mean you're a bit green heavy but yeah and i, I guess that works i think it's kind of hard to justify bolting yourself like already shocking yourself isn't great against a deck that can like churn out a lot of damage but let's see what comes out crossing the fog obviously yeah yeah consult is probably would have been pretty bad here so thankfully there's a crossing I've, I've actually been pretty happy with how crossing's been performing this gp for a card that people constantly Day is, is much too good. It, it's not seen much play in, in the years that it's existed, but I'm happy that this GP, people are bringing it out. So. Yeah. And out of body experience, making yeah. a flyer yeah, yeah, is yeah, really bad for Promsaki because, yeah, that's because of the be journey. Yeah, that's going to pick up the rest of the, but you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, Herzi's removal being only out of bodies for the th one of their games is how they lost against Augur because <laughs> they can kill the creatures, but they can't. I mean, they can get rid of the prowess from the creatures, but they still need to deal with the 1-1 one, one flyers. A 1-1 one, one flyer is like a 1-drop. You traded a 1-drop for another 1-drop. Oh, here comes the bodies. You portal factor this, right? Like, you... I think, I think you do. It, it seems silly sometimes, but the amount of damage that Pupil of Lightning like can do is pretty nuts with those Scorches and Ancient Knowledges in hand. So you've got you've to figure that if you don't stop the bodies hitting the field, it's not one extra damage coming at you. It's, it's going to be... You know, twos and threes and fours, and that's probably a clock you can't deal with. But purple is at two thunder roads, though. I kind of missed that. Purple yeah. drew that second one, which is definitely, definitely a good thing to see here. Well, um, maybe Permsaki will just run Augur out of creatures because they can thunder roads Augur's yep. board away. 
they're still, you know, they're still enraptured Countess in the journey, and you've got right. ancient knowledge in hand. But we might see a repeat of what we saw in game one, where Augur might get down to the wire. Here we go. So consult. Oh. At least we're before the attack, so we're gonna get. I think Prove Saka probably really wanted this on turn one. The you cosmic know, you know what I'm thinking of now that I now that I realize because the draw is on cast right for consult ancient knowledge. It's possible that you consult ancient knowledge and give your opponent a counter spell for it. Yeah, I mean I that's something that that I had to think about a lot when I was playing the infused deck before it nerfs. That's, that's so funny because I've it's I think it's the first time I really internalized that. I haven't seen it in any of the matches I've spectated. I've, I've spectated quite a lot, but it's kind of it's kind of funny to think about it that yeah you could accidentally really mess yourself up. Oh, a bounty coming out already, and there's the cane dancer in hand. This hand is starting to look better and better for purple. Yeah, but. Augur's hand Augur's is also. Augur's got a lot of damage. Can Perf Sock even stop? Like, Augur can cast four spells this turn, right? You yeah. can just dump their entire hand, and, like, Perf Saki can really only do. There's still, you know, there's still a Thunder Road that's, that can get cast, right? So. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get a lot of damage off of the, the Scorches, but I think one of those pupils not only will not hit, but Thunder Road's going to give that three life back to Purple if that's what Purple ends up going with. We'll see. Because this, this, this could be. This could be a scorch, scorch, strong arm turn. You know, doesn't like strong arm put people out of thunder Road's range? Well, I would assume that if uh, Augur casts strong arm, she's gonna sequence it last by the point that they've already gained the pro triggers. But I, I don't know. Don't she just shoot a pupil of lightning before strong arm resolves? No, I mean like, so they scorch, scorch. So it's people to three, three, and then if Prosaki tries to thunder yes. roads it, then yes. if Kenta four, I think that would be a mistake on Purple's turn. I think I think if uh, with the mana that Augur has open, if if you let the pupil of lightning hit three toughness, you've made a mistake, right? Right. Because then then you know that any other card puts it out of reach, and then and then you're in real big trouble. And Raptured Countess also in hand, possibility of flashbacking a scorch and um, getting counters permanently on the pupils. But I think that's not what's going to happen. I think we're going to see a lot of. Do you think we're going to see scorch scorch strong arm this turn? Or you think we're going to see? Yes, the I think that's what's going yeah. to happen, and then. They, and then Countess and Flashback on the next turn? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they can play Countess off the treasure, off yeah. the strong arm, so... Yeah, Purple's a very good player. I think I think Purple's likely not... It's not likely to make a mistake. And if the writing on the wall is another Scorch coming in after, I think you know you've got to uh, throw out that Thunder Road as that set, before that second Sculpt. Um, yeah, because the Scorches are sorcery speed, so you can't... Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. They, they they preemptively did it. I think that's that was that, that's correct. Cause... Yeah. That, that they thought for a little long time and probably came to the conclusion that if Argo was holding exactly this hand, then they need to do that to not die, and yeah. they got rewarded for their play. Because if you let that second scorch get cast, even if you throw out a thunder road, you can cast strong arm in response to it, and things are going to get bad. Problem is that uh, Argo still gets to dump their hand. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And okay. Argo's spreading out their. Um, Spreading out, yeah. Thankfully, we're a format that doesn't have free interaction. Well, not much free interaction. We've got a few odd pieces. But that's yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah. Man. So, Permsaki that wants... Was, that was it, right? The, that, was, that was the big... Yeah. Permsaki needs to send the roads again this turn, I think, to survive. Absolutely, because Enraptured Countess is just going to throw a Scorch back. And also, Permsaki yeah. not drawing a land here is a bit annoying, because... Yeah, was... I would have hoped for a land, but well, it's fine if they draw land next turn because then can they can do Bounty King Dancer. Then it also depends what Augur draws, right? Augur yeah. doesn't really yeah. need much to get through, and technically has lethal on board right now, so that you know requires an answer of some sort, and one of those is a flyer. So the, you know, even your Bounty Token can't can't clear that. So it's uh it's tight. So I guess per talk, he's they're definitely thinking about something. Okay, they passed. Yeah. When, when everything you play is instant speed, you you have some options. Okay, well, a land for Augur is not what Augur wanted. Um, they can crack Heist Headquarters, I guess. They can, but they're not going to draw off that turn, right? I mean, I think you still do... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, well, Propsaki knows that Augur has in Rapid Countess in hand, right? So if you do this first, then Propsaki is forced to Thunder Roads now, and they can't Thunder Roads in Rapid Countess. Yeah, I guess I guess that's what you had to do because. Well, if Furflocky draws a a white land here, then I think they survive another turn because they can tenuous existence and Raptor Countess during Argus upkeep to prevent them from casting its tail, and then you also yeah. tenuous the token to get rid of it. That's true. 
but that's all contingent on Perpetsaki drawing the lands that they need. If they draw shifting land, I think they're kind of screwed. Okay, so count is coming out. We're going to flash back. I'm guessing Porch. Okay, yeah, never mind, right? Because so now Tenure Skills and suddenly becomes super bad because uh, blinking the Countess is going to yeah. give them another tail. <laughs> you don't want to blink the Countess. Well, uh, okay, I, that sort of works. I mean, you want to Shadow Rain's Rage now because because your yeah, opponent kill. might have might draw into something. Like I like having that up for viewers, and it's, I think it's an important thing to to keep in mind. We don't right. have a token for that, so oh, and yeah, exiling that Scorch is important. <laughs> yeah, well, there's Shadow Rain's Rage. There's Rage. So, so this is one of the, yeah. it's one of those few moments I said where a two mana Rage actually does something. Well, using treasure to crack the heist headquarters. I think that's I think that's that's the right thing to do here. So Augur has so you can draw, drawn to two, drawn to two burn. That's that's all you need. Let's see what yeah. we got here. Oh well. Yeah, that counts is a scorch, and that cosmic sink. Well, well, counter no, cosmic sinkhole is not going to have enough to even counter the the tail. Oof, one man off. Or, or the scorch, or the scorch, right? Yeah, because it's going to be two mana. Yeah. There yeah, Prosaki really needed their fourth land. Yeah, let's see it. One, two. That's the tail. Scorch paying the one. Has the one to pay for Cosmic Sinkhole. Pays the one. <laughs> well, <laughs> made Augur do the motions. <laughs> well, actually, the problem with Augur losing game one is that now they have to win game three on the draw. And the draw. this game yeah. is, or this matchup is extremely play draw dependent due to Cosmic Absolutely. Sinkhole. As we saw here, how, how important that was. Prosaki finally gets to be on the play. <laughs> well, I mean, if you wow. want a good card and hand on play, then there you go. <laughs> That's wow. One, two, three lands. Um, you even Mabel here? I guess you Mabel away the portal fracture. Yeah, really interesting. I would assume your cosmic sinkhole on one, you portal whatever they have on two, three, you drop Mabel. No, wouldn't that be the right? So then you bought them the cosmic sinkhole. I mean, you uh, first made the cosmic, cosmic sinkhole. sinkhole because it, it cosmic sinkhole is really falls off. As the turns go, everything that Augur has is one mana or two, you know, with Master. But let's see what they. Uh... Rumsack decides to just ah, not no, Mabel. Maybe I'm overvaluing that that little bit of life and draw. I don't know. I find that the body being able to block and gain two points of life is pretty relevant. I think Rumsack is uh... just counting on Augur never resolving anything for yeah, the first few true. turns, and then hopefully, ready for anything, describes them into a, a princess or thunder world or something. That's that's true. That's true. Hi there. I have a I have one of my cats joining us today on stream. Sure. I hope that he doesn't step on the keyboard. Well, there's Cosmic Synco. There, there you go. Number one. This is this is the kind of opener that that, that Purple's pretty happy to get. Oh, oh. there's a King Dancer too. <laughs> okay. I'm really happy we didn't throw back that portal fracture. That's gonna be a yeah. turn. Things are not looking great, huh? Well, so I can either play people or master of tranquilities here. Yep. Let's see what it's gonna be. Uh, I think Fetching like well, this just no, means that they're no, going to play no, Master. It's not, a, it's not Pupil. You don't feel like a Master of Tranquility here. Yeah, and then I guess next thing they can go Pupil, Scorch, Strong Arm in the same turn. Yeah, but that if it's the Master, that Master is not going to resolve. Actually, it's even better um, if it goes for Master, you don't even have to use the Portal Fracture. You can just use that Cosmic Sinkhole there. You might um, want to Portal Fracture anyway so that it's in the Yard for Cane Dance. Yeah. Actually, not really, because you don't really. You can just cast it later, anyways. So yeah, you... I'm just I'm just worried that cosmic sinkhole because of how it scales poorly. Well, it doesn't scale poorly. You just have to pay more mana. But yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, cosmic sinkhole is either you know a spike or a quench or whatever you want it to be in this deck. I don't know. Maybe you do want portal fracture just for the king dancer. Let's see what. Uh, I think that's what purple's deciding here. Which of the. I mean, you can also like. Use. I don't think you let that master of tranquility resolve. You can be absolutely oh. insane and let master resolve and play ready for anything instead. Right. Well, Saki is call. taking the safe play and not the absolutely yeah. insane play. No, that gives them more flexibility on their mana in later turns. Uh, now that that's in sequence like that, let's see what. Uh, let's see what happens next. We've got another cosmic sink. It doesn't matter. They're just we're just drawing the sinkholes here. Yeah. So do you sinkhole oh. for three here? Honestly, yes. But again, purple doesn't know Augur's hand like we do. You know, no knowing that Augur's only got strong arm and scorch, keeping Augur off of creatures is really important here. Oh. Like you you can afford to take a scorch to the face. You're at twenty. Purple hasn't taken a point of damage yet. Yeah, you can afford to raise for anything. Right out, yeah, right. Obviously, I have the benefit of knowing Augur's hand, but I think even in this case, oh no, letting it resolve. All right, so 
I mean, it's just one turn of getting beat in the face, and then you can probably try to Purple's, you know dig what? into Purple's removal. Making a fine decision, you know, taking what a bit of damage, but ultimately is making sure that they've got all the answers for anything that's really game ending. Wait, never mind. They can't swan arm this turn. They play in the wrong order. They need to no, swan arm and then scorch to have the right yeah. close of mana. Uh huh. I was really surprised to see that. I think Argo uh, is realizing now that they made a mistake. Oh, that's a shame. Or maybe they. I mean, maybe they. I mean, they're all right with just keeping strong. Not, in they're not winning this turn. Maybe you keep it. Hopefully that you have a, another creature on the next turn. Now that this first one's resolved, maybe yeah. Augur thinks that Purples doesn't have all the counter spells in hand. I don't know. There's a lot that could be going on here. We're gonna see some ready for anything. I think now. Yeah. Purples gonna go look for for what they need to win. I mean, basically anything's good here because if you get a land, then suddenly Portal Factor is, or the one or less is active on Portal Factor. If you don't get a land, then it's probably something that's good for you. Absolutely. Purple's deck just has so many different types of answers. Oh, well, well Thunder, uh, Road, Thunder Road is a great kind of answer. <laughs> if they throw a land here, they can augment Thunder Roads. <laughs> well, there. Uh, that's true. There's a land. And it's green. So we've got blue, blue, white, red, green, and black. We have an online. Uh, Yep. We have an online Thunder Roads. Augmented Thunder Roads on turn four. Well, treasures treasures and shifting lands go a long way towards that kind of uh, not, not early fixing. Like, for it, it, you're not using shifting to cast like two colors or three colors, but getting to that late four or five all fixing, they're, they do a really good job here. Well, no, they just um, get you four man on turn three, which gets okay. you to Princess. Yeah. So, after Countess is a pretty decent draw because it does stuff that. Augur wants it to do. It can get back Scorch, I guess. I think Augur just really wants card draw here, though. So. Purple's thinking about whether to take it in the face or not. Well, if I was purple, I'd, I'd be more than happy to say, sure, I'll take the hit and then either force out the strong arm or let Augur play out that in like other creatures and then yeah. Thunder Room, both of them. I mean, purple, I think purple Purple's that. just waiting for the opponent to give them opportunity to portal factor yeah. to augment the Thunder Roads. This is turn four and Purple's at 15. This is not the kind of life total that Augur wants their opponent at four turns in with five colors of mana available. So that's yeah. the, the burst of damage did not happen this game with all those counter spells. So, oh, okay, we're going to see Kane Dancer. Kane Dancer ready for anything. I mean, that's fine. You can uh -huh. it forces out the Swan Arm. Yeah. Unless Augur wants people to just die. And no, response, anything. no response again, and then yeah, you've got a. Well, I mean, you know you're winning when you're bombing Shell Drain's rage. That's for sure. Not not that purple needs their rages right now. <laughs> there. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Strong arm, and we've got three. That cosmic sinkhole could technically resolve here. Not that it. Do you use it here? Do Me. you care that much? You're losing the cane dancer anyway. You've cast strong arm. Cane dancer is a two. Um, Sorry, uh, Pupil of Lightning is going to be a 2 2. I mean, Promsaki's uh -huh. thinking about whether to extend a world here to get rid of the Pupil of Lightning before Strong Arm can resolve. And I think you're just fine taking it because you might be able to it. sweep up more creatures with the Thunder Roads. I don't think you're too scared of. Uh, oh, 4 3. You take 2 points of damage. Well, actually, the problem here is that now Argue can just cast a spell and now Promsaki will have to point 2 Thunder Roads at it. We're going to see. There we go. Raptor Countess. Uh, let's it resolve. And there is Thunder Roads, I guess. I don't think Saki wants to point the Thunder Roads at Pupil of Lightning because it's too risky. Augur might have some way to buff it, so you might as well point the remaining ones at Fae? Oh, no. They're just assuming Augur has nothing, and I guess yeah. that assumption works out. It's risky, right? Do you even need to take the risk at this point? You can just point both Thunder Roads at Pupil to ensure that it dies, and then you're pretty much in the clear. Well, either ways, the play works out for Saki, and I think they're... Or I, I don't think, think Augur has uh, any chance now. Well, I, I I do agree with Augur going. Uh, treasure was B. I think I think it'd be important that we track mana spent, you know. But they, right. purple hat. It's just well, Augur drew a land, so like that's not good for them. That's that's terrible. Um, Augur's on nothing right now. Uh, not even a ice headquarters, you know. So yeah. Meanwhile, purple Saki drew a princess, which is really good for them, and a bounty, well, which is also really good for them. Here we here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a bounty commanding princess, uh, cane dancer bounty, right? So they don't have a cane dance. Oh wait, they, right, cane dancer from the yeah, graveyard. Cane dancer's right? in the yard. That's exactly what you want for princess. That's Oof. four bodies, from zero to four bodies in one turn. More lands. Not what Augur wants to see. Augur can only sit idly by while they watch in horror as Perpensaki gets disgusting amounts of value off their cards. The two damage against two. Purple is going to end up winning this with 
a net positive of life. Which Wait, is did they have of, lethal already? Uh, yeah, they do. Well, one, yeah, 10, 12, 13. Oh my gosh. And that's it. And God. that's all for that. This game was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> More cane dancers. Is there anything else for them to flash? No, 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 they literally no, have nothing to flash back me. now. Wow. And that is the end of GPS. -ing. God. That, that, okay, yeah, that, that last game was just absolutely brutal. Or that was, that was everything Purple wanted to see, right? Yeah. No, all I mean, the right time, and then all, all the game ending threats just after. That was, that was perfect. Yeah. Well, I think this is a very fitting send off for this deck because we might not see this deck anymore. Uh, we might not. I can't say much. Being on Beyond Council, things have been discussed, and we're going to get notes and patch notes pretty soon. You can definitely see them on May 1st. So, something to keep an eye out. But yeah, a very fitting send off for this deck, showing just how powerful this deck can be. Yeah, Actually, did Purple Stocky Draw no confirms this these entire three games? Uh, that's true. We haven't seen a single con confirm, which is really funny because hasn't felt like Purple's needed it all that much. Um. <laughs> well, they, they drew all ready for it, anything, so. Yes. So yeah, having that eight one. copies of that sort of effect is really what makes the deck good, or at least yeah. this consistent. Yeah. Uh, two mana mono blue ramp is kind of crazy. No, it's two mana mono blue instant speed ramp that also draws you a card. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, hey, I'll I'll be honest, Ricky. It was really fun getting to do this this match with you. I'm I'm uh, I actually had a lot of fun. So chances are I'm gonna try to make myself more available in the uh, coming GP. Maybe maybe we can do this more often. This was very fun. Wonderful. But anyways, yeah, I'll just stop recording now. Sounds good. Well, on that note, take care, and uh, we'll see you soon.